hi guys welcome back to my channel Silen here if this is your first time here please guys subscribe down below it's absolutely free and it helps the channel grow in today's video i'm going to teach you guys i'm going to show you guys how i made my wedding dress i already made a separate video like a part one of this video where i showed you guys how i made the bodies of the dress how i drafted it cut and sewed it if you haven't seen that video please check it out the link will be in, this, in the description box down below in today's video i'll teach you guys how i made the skirt part of the dress how i coupled everything together how i did the, all the embellishing and all the finishing and i'm going to show you guys what the dress turned out at the end of the day so definitely um stay, keep on watching if you want to see how i do this oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> So first of all, I took my lining. I actually used um, about six yards of um, white lining. Initially, I gathered the lining, so I just ran loose threads on the top part of the lining. And then when I gathered it, I realized that it was actually very, very small. It wasn't full at all. So I had to get an extra six yards of lining and then I joined it to this one. And then I gathered it as well. So it became fuller. So as you can see, at this point, it was just six yards I had. And it didn't even go around my waist so i had to get you know six more yards now for the strong net i got 12 yards same thing i got six yards initially it was too too small it wasn't big enough so i had to get an, an extra six yards and then i joined it to this one and then i gathered all of them together and you know it gave me what i wanted okay i just gathered it gathered made sure that they were tight enough and you know i i just basically gathered it <laughs> Now this is the six year, the first six yards I had gotten. As you can see, it's not so full. So at this point, I got another six yards and then I joined it. That's my mom being the supervisor that she is. She actually really, really helped me with this dress because my mom has been sewing for decades, even before I was born. So I was so so happy that um you know she was around to guide me. Uh, so basically, once I was done with that, I just placed the strong nest on top of the lining. After like gathering them, I placed the strongness on top of the lining and then I just sewed them together at the top. And then I took another um, um, another piece of lining again and then i just i had also i also gathered that one the same way i gathered the other one so i just placed it on top of you know the strong net and then i sewed that one on top so basically the strong net was sandwiched in between two pieces of lining that's because you know this strong net is a bit itchy like if it's rest if it rests if it's <laughs> if it touches your body especially when you sweat or something it gets really 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 itchy okay so i had to now um you know sandwich it in between two linings and this is what it looked like once i had done that and i was so excited with the outcome as you can see i'm dancing <laughs> i was excited with how big you know it um it looked that's my mom again being the supervisor that she is <laughs> and that's my mom again being the supervisor that she is so um at this point i was trying to cut the um the mikado silk fabric so um what i did was um i made sure that the front piece that's the front piece of the fabric was a bit long like longer than it should be because of the petticoat i knew i was going to wear later but then the back piece had a very very long tail so i tried to um just basically um you know get that at this point i was cutting the back so i had to fold it so that i can get the shape that i wanted i tried to make the waist the, the part the piece for the okay the part of the back piece that is on, uh, that's going to be on my waist i tried to make that part a bit narrower so that's why i'm cutting it um you know it's a bit smaller and then it gets wider at the bottom so it's kind of it tapers out basically so that uh, you know the the waist part since my waist is obviously smaller the waist part you know it's smaller and then as it goes down it gets bigger and as you can see the tail is actually very very long and 
and now i'm just going to go ahead and just open that up and this is what we have so basically guys i didn't cut my dress this um the 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 fabric i didn't cut it like a flare i kind of cut it like an a cut style i don't, I don't know if that makes sense so what you have what we have right here are actually um the two pieces of the back because this was folded so you have two pieces right here on top of each other and as you can see how wide they are so that by the time i pleat it it also adds to the volume of the dress and at this point i had completed um you know cutting the fabric for the back so i simply just um you know just folded it and then i kept it aside Now moving on to my sewing machine, I had to sew the, the fabric pieces together. So basically, I sewed one side of the back piece to the side of the front piece and the other side of the back piece to the other side of the front piece. I hope that makes sense. So I sewed the back pieces to the front piece, okay? Now once I was done with that, this is what it looked like. I also made sure I, I inserted the pleats at the places I wanted them to be. And now taking my um, lining and um, strong nets that I had gathered previously, I went ahead to just place the, um, you know, the fabric that I had um, sewn, the fabric pieces that I had sewn. I placed them on top of the lining and the um, strong nets, and I went ahead to just join them together at the top so that we have just one piece. Guys, this dress took months to make. Don't mind the fact that it has been shrunk into just two videos and um, the fact that these videos are actually short. This dress took forever to make. It was a lot of work. Now, as you can see, I have joined, you know, the lining with the um, with the fabric and the strong net. And you can, as you can see underneath, you can see the lining and you can see the strong net underneath. So this is what it looks like. And I love the volume, okay? I really, really love how big it got. So as you can see, it's another day. I'm wearing something different. <laughs> so on this day, what I did was I took the um, bodice. Uh, if you haven't seen the video where I made the bodice from start to finish, how I drafted, cut and sewed it, I'll leave the link to that video in, in the des description box down below. So at this point, I just took the bodice and then I basically sewed it to the skirt part of the dress. At this point, I felt like I had really, really, really made a lot of progress because sewing the bodies took a lot of time. Sewing the skirt part also took a lot of time. So at this point, when I was joining the both pieces together, I really, really felt like I had made a lot of progress and I was really, really happy with, you know, how far the dress had come. And I went ahead to just try it on. And this is what it looked like. So I noticed that um, I had a bit of there's a bit of excess by the bust area right there. So um, you know I just went ahead to just hold that, like just take that in so that it's nice and smooth. I also held the waist part a bit more. And now I went on to insert the buttons at the back of the dress. Um, in the part one of this video, I also showed you guys how I inserted the button loops and how I inserted the zipper. So um, again, if you haven't watched the part one of this video where I made the bodies of this dress, please do check it out. Link is in, in the description box down below. So it just took me a while, but then I put all the buttons and I really loved how, you know, they turned out. I love that they were tiny, tiny buttons and, you know, they really, really closed up very well. And now moving on to the embellishing, I had already, um, you know, um, beaded, hand beaded the lace cutouts with, um, with um, what's it called now, with um, crystal beads. So I just went ahead to just use glue to stick them on the dress. Um, you know, I wanted to cover, you know, the plunging neckline of the plunging illusion neckline as much as, um, as much as I could, because I. Uh, my church is an anglican church so um you know they obviously they don't do they don't do skin at all <laughs> so there was no way i was going to show any skin especially in that um you know bodies area and also i had to really really cover it up so that's what i did basically initially i went ahead to just cover 
you know the outlines but then later on i went in again um to cover that plunging neckline very well i also went ahead to turn it to the back so that i could cover the back a bit because you know how illusion neckline is it actually looks like your skin is showing so i didn't want that to be the case i wanted it to look like okay there's actually something she's actually putting on something so i went ahead to just you know um just stick on those lace, lace cutouts um, along that um you know that line of, of the buttons once i was done with that i now went ahead to just you know just place it on other areas of the back um if you're curious on how i um where i got this lace cutouts from how i beaded them and all of that again is in the part one watch the part one of this video that's what i'm trying to say so yeah um i just did that basically And then I moved on to, um, I decided to put some pearls on the neck area of the dress. So I went ahead to put some white pearls. I just put a line of it, but it kind of followed the shape of the, you know, sweetheart neckline that the dress, um, that the bodies already had. So I just kind of followed that shape. And then I just placed just one line of pearls. They weren't even too tight. Just it was just like a detail that last minute I decided was going to be you know was going to add or elevate the dress, so I decided to just put it last minute. guys this is how the dress turned out i am so 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 proud of myself you see those lovely ladies behind wearing red those are my bridesmaids i made their dresses as well and guys i'm going to upload it to i'm going to upload the video on how i made their dresses and even my veil that i'm putting on i also made my veil i'm also going to upload a tutorial on how i made my veil so definitely stay tuned subscribe if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching bye